Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at how to connect a Bluetooth adapter to your multicopter and have it be communicating with your iPhone or Android device. So in this first step we're going to have the Bluetooth pins connected properly as you've seen in the description to in our case a multi-v board it's right there it's hard to see in there but once you've done that you will see the LED fast blinking you have to go to your device and connect Bluetooth to your phone so on your phone you go to settings navigate to Bluetooth enable it and that should show a device available to be paired up with in this case you click the device that's available and when it asks you about a pair code you enter the code click OK and now you're paired to your device so I'm gonna use this app Easy GUI for configuring my Multi-V you're gonna have to go to settings check the Bluetooth you wanna have device selected and that's that you're gonna hit next, select your board firmware, and in my case I have Multi-V 2.4. You can change these settings if you want, and once that's done, you have ready to be connected. Connecting. Connected. So once you're connected, angle is you'll on. see a basic information, like you have three available dashboards, like angles, you can move your copter and see the angles correspond. You're, you have your arm disarmed. I'm having angle mode on. Dashboard 2 shows you other navigation features, which is pretty nice. You have dashboard 3. Altitude minus 1.2 meters. Show yourself on a map. We have other screen, like shows you the motors and other inputs and outputs, signals. And most importantly, what I like about it, it saves you a lot of time, this PAD page. You can download, change, and upload Altitude minus 1.1 meters. Parameters. This is pretty handy. You can also change your RC rate and exposition, and that comes up pretty nice. Another thing that I like about it is you can change your Altitude minus 1.0 meters. You can change what your auxiliary can calibrate your device. You can do trimming, pitch and roll trims, read, upload, save to EEPROM. You can also have in advanced here and possibility to control your copter. Even though it says it's untested, it will warn you, but if you want, you can try that. Disconnected, disconnected. I like to put my Bluetooth device somewhere in a safe spot, like right there. It's still blinking. And let's give it a try and see how it flies now. So I do see that it's constantly trying to pull to the left, so I need to adjust my trims a little bit. Altitude so while in the app meters. I go to trims page and since it was pulling to the left I'll have my roll increased. I'll give it like about 20 and I'll upload it. Altitude I'll save it to EEPROM, read it to make sure it's uploaded and now let's fly it again and see if that helps. Do you see it's much more better. It's pretty much stable now. It has some oscillations, so I'm gonna go ahead and tune some PADs. But that's pretty much it. Enjoy it. 